Hey, so uh, it's Tammy here, and uh, we are doing another DIY equipment, okay, for high yap fitness. Now, we've built a ladder, okay, that was the last one. I don't have my ladder anymore, but we did it all out of a duct tape. Okay, this is colorful duct tape. I like the colorful stuff, it makes me a little happier. So uh, today we're gonna do it with colorful. And then we did uh, dumbbells. So today we are going to build a roller, okay? So in order for us to make sure our muscles stay nice and loose and they're not too tight all the time, they're not injured and sore and all the time, then we wanna be able to roll them out, okay? So what we're gonna do is build a nine to $10 roller, super cheap. Rollers run somewhere between $25, if you can find one at Winners, $24, maybe $19.99. Okay, or you can go and get a travel size roller, which is similar to what we're gonna make today, for about 55 bucks. So the travel rollers run a little bit more money and typically aren't found at the discount store. So we are gonna build one for, well, this one, I believe that this costs $4, somewhere around there. These cost about a buck a piece, and I got the tape at the dollar store, and I think these ran me a buck fifty or two bucks. So, roughly ten dollars, not much more than that. Okay, so what you do is you want to go to the store and you want to ask them for like a four inch conduit. If you just basically, I walked up to Steve and I was like, dude, I need something this big, and it needs to be for a roller. If they don't know what you're talking about, go find Steve because he knows what he's talking about. He's an athlete. Okay, um, so what I did is I actually just found this in their garbage area and um, they had already cut a piece off for someone and obviously didn't need this. And I was like, I don't want to waste it. I'll take that one. How much is it going to cost? It would have been four bucks. So, okay, so somewhere around four dollars for that. And then these, I was just walking around with my mother-in-law and I went, Oh, those would be really cool and they actually are already kind of made to be cut open so they just easily kind of rip open like that which is super awesome and I thought that this could be a good outside barrier for it okay so I bought three of them because I can cut them and probably get enough uh, enough space so we're gonna start with that so all we have to do here is I'm gonna take the sticker off I don't really want the sticker on Okay, so let's take that off so it doesn't crinkle and be all weird. So all I need to do is measure my size. Okay, so I'm gonna be there, but I wanna. I'm more more interested on measuring the how the length is gonna be here, and I wanna be pretty good and exact. So I see that it's about there. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a little snip so that I know where to go. Okay, and then. Basically, you could just snip it right across like that. Okay, so then I have my, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so I have one there, and then using that same piece, you can just measure the exact size. Measure, and it's gonna be right about there. Okay, I'm gonna make a little mark, and give it a little snipper right there. Bam, you okay? So there's two, and if I just put it on there, basically we're gonna have to find a way to kind of hold it down as we tape around it, but this is actually gonna be pretty awesome. I was a little bit worried about this not being, uh, or being too thick, but it's actually really good and just dense enough. So I wanna kind of make it a little bit flatter so it doesn't roll up at the edges. Okay, so just like that, perfect. Okay, so what I wanna do though is I wanna actually make it stay. So the best way to do that is kind of like when we did, um, you can trim the edges if you need to, kind of like when we did the ladder, is just tape it down. Just kind of tape a little spot so that um, you can work with it a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little piece of my duct tape Okay, I'm gonna take her off. All right, and I'm just gonna tape it to this side so that when I'm doing this, 
I don't uh, have to play around too much and fiddle with it too much. So see how that just holds it nicely? Okay, so just like that, same so the other side, that. So I don't want that to be moving too much. Perfect. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fit the other one on as well. I'm gonna try to get it as tight as possible to the other side. So you can see I'm gonna cozy it up there nice and tight. Don't worry if it's not like perfect. Again, we're gonna taper down and make it as soft or as round as possible at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna cozy it up there. I'm gonna tape it there. So, you know, if you're kind of going, oh, I don't know if I want to do this stuff, I'd rather go out and buy it. Something to think about is when you make it, it's special, okay? So for me, doing these things and going, oh, I made that, it kind of makes me feel like I was productive, like I did something on this earth. It's like if you always get someone to do something for you um, and, and you buy everything, you're gonna miss a huge part of life. Okay, when I was a kid, there you know, wasn't a lot of money to buy toys and all those special things. So we made a lot of stuff and I think the older generations get it. And I hope that the younger generations get it eventually. But um, yeah, I think that find a way to be creative and make stuff. If you found something better at the hardware store that worked better for you than this stuff that I have, buy it, try it, see if it works. Okay, so I'm there and I have an extra little spot. I don't wanna leave that spot empty. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, again, measure that side. Okay, and I'm maybe just gonna take a small portion of it. So I'm gonna measure it out like that, okay, somewhere there, give her a snip, snip a -roo. okay, and I'm only going to use a portion in, so about that much, it's going to be, well, let's do this, so if it's as tight as possible, it goes to about there, okay, so about half an inch or an inch. And we're there and you're just going to cut it as straight as you can okay because that's going to be the difference in whether it fits now you have lots of this right buy three of them i bought three and i can just play with it and i can you know if i have a little bit of extra left over maybe i make my mom one because she's maybe doing the challenge with me um and she might not have time to do it okay so that's actually pretty good that I'm killing it. Okay, so then I'm gonna take that one on because I don't want it to move when I'm taping this. Okay, so here, somewhere there. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, yeah, somewhere there. Okay, so pretty ghetto, right? This does not seem right. So the next phase is to tape this all down nice and hard. Okay, so I'm going to take my duct tape and I'm going to kind of roughly, see it's going to go around, yeah, that's probably about right. So you can measure, but I wouldn't. It'll take forever. Just make sure you have more than less. So if I'm here, I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of put it on just the edge there and I'm going to roll it out here. I can fix the edges at the end. So don't, again, if you take too much time doing this, you'll never get to your workouts. So just roughly get her there. Creases, not so big of a deal, okay? Not big of a deal at all. Okay, so there's that first one. And then I'm going to just keep going with that all the way down. Make sure I have more rather than less. I want to make sure I don't go right at the crease because you're going to get creases. Go like a half inch up. So see how that one, that one doesn't work so, so good because I'm on an angle. I want to make sure that I can get it right on there. Yep, perfect. And we 
we just keep going. You know, turn on some music. If you need that music to help you relax and, and get this done, I know that this is going to be one of the coolest rollers in town. If there's little creases, it's just got character. Okay? It's like when I ran over a curb in Santa Monica. <laughs> just added character to the to the van. <laughs> Kylie used to make fun of me when I was driving. Because I'd run over all this stuff, but if, you, if anyone's ever been to California, they will agree that there are way too many areas in California, way too many curves that are not marked as curves. We have yellow signs saying, do not run me over. There, not so much. So this is awesome. So I've never made one like a travel roller before. So this is my first time as well. Um, but just so that this doesn't fray, um, what I would do is I would probably just kind of go over it, make some strips and then just finish it off. I don't know, I just tend to do that. And there you go, you basically have one of the best rollers in town and it's super cool looking. So when I say to you guys, hey, have you rolled out? You should now be able to do that because you should have a roller. Because it doesn't cost you more than 10 bucks and this literally took me walking into the store. I talked to Steve about some stuff for the warehouse so that took me a little bit long but I walked down the aisle I grabbed the conduit, I said, whoa, look at those pipe insulator thingies, let's buy three, walk to the front, bam, I bought the duct tape when I was just rolling it, buck or two dollar store at some point, and uh, I'm sure if you still have that other duct tape from before, you'll have tons enough to use it. So get on it, build your roller.